Hello everybody, this is PM Studios C Sharp Programming Tutorials number 4, I believe, and today we are going to be going, uh, picking up right where we left off in last week's tutorial. We're going to be going a little bit deeper, we're going to be covering the very basics of logic, as you can see. I've already copied the code from the last one and pasted it into the new solution titled Logic Practice, and here is where we're going to get rocking right away. So, as you can see, the namespace is Logic Practice, it's already created everything. If you want, you can just open up the uh, the program file or the solution that you created for last week's tutorial and just carry on from there. But what we're going to be going to do over this tutorial is if and else statements. So that should be pretty easy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a new string variable and we're going to call that how feel, for lack of better words, should I say. And again, if you notice, uh, it highlights it green because the variable has not been used yet or has not been assigned a value yet, but that'll go away quickly as we, um, we begin to get further in. So let's go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this from a read to a read line uh, so that we can use that in a little bit later. And we're going to get rid of this. It's a lovely day outside because that was really just kind of a filler. And we're going to put a comma and ask them, are you doing well today? Alrighty. So, and now we're going to go ahead and take advantage of this read line that we put in. We're going to go how feel equals read line. And now, this is a little bit uh, the tricky part, but it's it's good to know because it'll uh, emphasize the, the true power of if and else statements and the ability to make them as large and comprehensive or as small and uncomprehensive as the, the program dictates. So let's go ahead and do how feel and brace yourself because we are going to be doing this quite a bit, um, probably about six times. I'm going to do yes. We can go or how feel equals equals and remember always to put the equals equals instead of just one equals and the reason why is because this equals equals is a comparison operator whereas this just one equals is an assignment operator so with one equals we're giving the item a value with two equals we're comparing it to something that pre-exists and we're going to do equals equals capital Y E S this time and we're going to do or how feel and this is going to be the last one for this one, and we're going to do all caps, yes. So this gives the user a little bit of play with how he or she wants to run the program themselves, uh, but it still gives it a little bit of strictness into what they can do. So if they were to do some funky capitalization on the yes, or if they were to do anything outside of the yes, the program would automatically re receive that as a no. So for here, we're going to go console.writeLine. We're going to have the computer respond to that. So that is wonderful news. Put a space, add the name. Put another space, and then add an exclamation mark. And we do not want app domain. Put an exclamation mark. So am I. close the quotes, and you're done with that part of the if statement. And now we're going to go on to something called an else if. There are three different things inside an if statement. There are if statements, else ifs, and else. And the difference is that an if statement starts it. Else ifs are the other parameters inside of an if statement that also require parameters are the different variables that also require parameters whereas else statements don't require any parameters whatsoever and they are merely just there to fill in the gaps with whatever doesn't get encompassed with the other else and the, uh, uh, ifs and else ifs I'm sorry I can't talk today how feel equals equals no see I almost did it again I almost did my assignment instead of my comparison how feel, and we're just going to do the same thing here, only this time it's pretty much going to be covering all but one different option they can do. Or how feel, and the only option that we're not going to be covering is the lowercase n capital O, uh, which you can certainly add if you want to be very comprehensive, but most people wouldn't do that unless it's by accident, and even then uh, you might want to call them out on it. So. 
we're going to go ahead and do our negative. So console dot right line. This one's going to be a little bit short, so we're going to go. I'm sorry to hear that. Put a space, then add the name. Another space. Again, we do not want app domain. And app domain keeps popping up because I keep accidentally hitting the underscore button. My fingers are a little bit sloppy today. That really is a shame. Close that out, and that else if is done. And now for our else statement to finish up and finalize the entire if statement, uh, we can go ahead and go console dot right line. I'm sorry. I am not programmed to interpret that response. And that is where we're going to leave this tutorial for today. Um, the key things that I wanted to go over today is the, the general idea of an if statement, which is there is the if, which is required at the very beginning, and it also requires um, parameters within the if statement itself, which allow it to choose whether or not it's going to move on. If none of these parameters fill in, it'll either dump into the else statement, or if there's an else if, it'll dump into the else if statement first, which also needs parameters. But once it's gone through everything that needs parameters, it'll automatically go to the else statement, and if that's not true, then it'll just... Well, actually, regardless of whether it's true or not, the else statement always returns true, because it has no parameters. There's nothing to make it so that it can't be true. So, it, when, if, it, when and if nothing, nothing else succeeds, uh, this will never fail. So, that's pretty much it for today's tutorial, and it's saying that I have a lot of different errors. So, ah, I forgot the plus sign here. And that gets rid of all those errors. So let's go ahead and run this really quick. And I'll bring this back over to you real fast. One second. There we go. All right. So we're going to enter is. And that is all what we did in the last tutorial. And this is where it begins. How are you doing? Are you doing well today? We go, yes. Enter. And it says, that's fine. That's hunky-dory. Um, the one thing I do recommend is that we put in console.reads here. which is silly of me that I had completely forgotten that. And we can just copy this to save you some typing power. And we can rerun this again. Alright, yes, I'm doing well. That's wonderful. So am I. Alright, and naturally you would run through it and make sure all of the different uh, possibilities work out the way they should, but I'm running shy on time, so I'm going to go ahead and conclude it here. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.